here we have the famous pasture.io predictive feed wedge. So on this feed wedge, it's, it's quite colorful. We've got a lot of colors going on. So in the background, we've got the target cover line, which, which is this red line here. And that target cover line helps us stay on track for grazing at the, at the appropriate pre-grazing cover and grazing down to the desired post-grazing residual. Uh, the blue paddocks represent irrigated paddocks, the red are dry land paddocks, and the green columns on each column uh, is the, or they are the individual growth rates for each paddock on this farm. Growth rates are rep represented on this axis over here in kilograms of dry matter per hectare per day, and cover or the pasture readings are in kilograms of dry matter per hectare on, on this axis. Along the bottom, we can see the paddock code, which we can also see in this box, box that hovers when we hover over the uh, paddock column. So we've got the paddock name, the code, estimated pasture cover for this day, the growth rate, and um, how long that paddock's been growing since it was last grazed. The great thing about this feed wedge is that it is predictive, like I said, so we can scroll forwards, say, seven days, and see what the feed wedge will look like based on the grazing decisions made on this farm. So we can see that they're growing a bit more of a surplus through here and they've filled a bit of the void or the deficit that they had. Uh, we can break this down to um, herds as well. So we can clean up the feed wedge just to see what it looks like for the milkers. And we can see bring in more paddocks with the oil paddocks or any other herds that you'd like to filter for.